Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stefan Ash and today we're gonna play through patch 5.5 main story. This is gonna be my reaction video. Cannot wait to play because you know the story is getting so incredibly good. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we are here. Let's talk to Alize, see what she got to say. I didn't mean to rhyme that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ere we begin, I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Urianger. There's no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale. True. Much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Garlemald. Full glad are we call to it have been of service. But verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final day. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. But since then we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Oh yeah, all the towers Our showed up. Party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porxies do their work. Are you saying they were tempered? Tempered? Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an <clears throat> ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory be to Garlemald. Ooh, chills. Chills. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities. Yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire yeah. is the common threat. The Empire is trifling. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Van Daniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Garlean army to the banner of the Telophoros. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. It's like they saw it coming. Given the nature of the enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Oh, it's gonna fall to me, of course. Of course. What?
resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers. Oh, just kidding. Fear of being Not turned. falling to me. <laughs> we are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, involved? I am. Come on, let's talk outside. You can just how it looks better. Dola about to get put to work. She gotta, she gotta put in work because she, she messed up. So you know, Ooh, a rain I've already gone moment. through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamalva and Vmar at Rising's <coughs> Reach as well. Arnvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. Yes, true. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel, Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. <laughs> I like changed accents there for a minute. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Mm. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Aldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. Oh. <laughs> a lie. The lie she tells. <clears throat> the lie she tells. Oof, you caught me. The so the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head. I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is, I need to know. We all need to know, girl. We all need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. You couldn't. You're too small. <laughs> you couldn't stand in the way. Me, me, me. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. Oh, is that the new dungeon? Like many Pretty sure it's the new dungeon. There. Even so, I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose out. Hmm. Well, we best not keep them waiting any longer. No. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. 
<laughs> ha! I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Oh, shady. Shots, shots fired. Because we scions are the ones. We the ones. Mm -hmm. It means a lot, you know. Oh, they're gonna fall in love. I still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favor if I'm not there. Oh. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. This is not foreboding. I don't know what is. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that, given what's coming. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see. <laughs> Again, no, shot fired. The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and Arm maybe ball. I never will be. His shady boots. Shady. <laughs> They're counting on me. On us. So let's give it our all. Mm hmm. She's gonna backstab you. I don't want her to, but I, she might. You know, them, them ginger. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's a pink highlight. She's blonde underneath. He does not want for conviction. That much is certain. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing, Chasing down, down this the... lunar Bahamut. Bahamut. <clears throat> Can you hear me? It's Tataru! Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Esti. Yes. And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. But he did mutter something. Ishgard it is. I'm just going to mime the whole Even story. Even if we set out this instant, we may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. I kind of wish they gave a voice. While you go off on your I dragoon know. hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. Just a generic one. We have much one. to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. Come. I'm not tired, you are. I'm not wearing any pants. Just no sign of him. Sweater and tights. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm. Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source? He found us. First the Scion's coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Oh, he's I'm pretty. Complaining. It's been too long. Too long? You look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha No. Oh, this, okay, this story is shady. <laughs> it's just me. Oh no. Oh yes. Quieter though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong silent type? Oh no. <laughs> I am not Alpha No <laughs> Oh no. As soon as like they, if the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? Oh no. Shady. 
Everyone's so shady. Oh, had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. We like the little comedic relief. Estinian Wormblood, the Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the dread worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. <laughs> the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. I love Grahatia so much. He's just like a fanboy for everybody. Would someone mind explaining what is going on? Is everything all right? I thought I heard Alize shouting. Estinian! It's been too long. Bravo, writers. Bravo. Super, super cute. No, no, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. Well, I, for one, will not be making that mistake again. What I will say, for the second time today, is that you've grown inside and out. I'm sorry? I tell. Hello? <laughs> is this... <laughs> Stinian? Stinian, why? One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. Is this the... Should there be a spin-off uh, love story going on? <laughs> At least someone's having a good time. You know when we were growing up? Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arunval. Astinian's definitely in charge. Perhaps he sees them as brothers he never had. No, we don't. That doesn't go along with my uh, fangirling. I think he learned how to talk with people rather than at them. No. Well, you can't keep him all to yourself forever. I like that one. Keep him to my... You're joking, aren't you? I'd be glad if someone would take him off my hand. Hmm. Well, Stinian about to. Stinian's about no to take him off the right, you say. Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Azisla? Azisla? These How lights. Can I forget the dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of. <clears throat> I, Tiamat, <coughs> mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on Azisla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I, I see no reason why not. Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. Be my guest. But confuse me with Alphano again and I'll throw you overboard. Yes, yeah, Alizé, tell him. He's like, meh. <laughs> he's like, I don't care. Ugh! I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either, based on what I had read of the map. Okay, on our way to Starbucks first. Pumpkin spice lattes for everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That was... Just jumped right to the next... Thing. I'm into it. Edgin Elfin. Warface. It's plain she knows naught of recent events. I'm going to give you the updated sign language version of recent events. If you're wondering why I'm talking low, that's just me. I'm vibing. It's in the morning. Don't judge me. And I gave up coffee. Uh, 
โอ้ลานทิดว่าเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้
Mm. Let's see it, the big finale. power oh, no I'm almost there yes This is it, Angelo! Mm -hmm. I want to see Angelo grow to like 10 times. Oh, that was just as good. <laughs> oh. Yes. Know for certain. It was all a trick. Many have been subjected to the Allegan's dark arts. Their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. Alphano's ready. It's time. It's time. Do it. And let's hope the treatment worked as it should. Yes. The most anticipated moment that we've been waiting for. And they all die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gigantic. Oh my gosh. Oh, a little shadow moment. Urianje, your timing could not be better. Understood, we're on our way. It's Bahamut. He's been sighted over Pagalthan. Oh, of course. 
He flies for the largest amount of settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. Our enemy awaits. Shall we? Oh, that Jagoon jump. Or is he just flying? Oh no. <laughs> jump out there. It's like, it's just this Thinian can fly now. Yes, work. Oh, so good. So good. That wasn't the real Lunar Bahama. How much you want to bet? Fly away, Tiamat. Tahamat? Tiamat. Noble warriors, the dragons chose their friends well. Who's this? Oh. Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds shall we honor their sacrifice. We'd be proud to call you allies. Yes. The enemy of our enemy is our friend and you have proven yourselves worthy of our trust yes, yes, yes. it is the guardians who are deserving of mm -hmm, our mm -hmm. fury mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day and rally as many as possible to the cause Till we meet again. Yes. And thus did we make allies of the Amalja. Hmm. Ooh, the sunset moment. It would certainly seem that way. The Sultana will be pleased. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? What about the tower? Oh. Huh. 
Oh, this can't be good. In Ralga's name happened here. The gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. Quickly! We've got to get them free! I don't. It's too late for them. We're leaving now. Oh. oh my gosh, what is this? It's like absorbing them. together and we're leaving together mm -hmm. Ooh, a little fondola fondola and alphanad i'm really bad with names for dola for dola been waiting here all this time We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. Oh. May we see him? Oh. I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Oh, no, no. Thank you for bringing him back. Hmm. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps I could have... Tell him. Tell him. Slap him in the face. Oh. Could have what? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. Hmm. People die all the time. For no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. Aw, for dollar spitting facts though. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. Oof. For dollar, no. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. Oh, clap back. Clap back, Alphanon. Tell her. Oh, she's like, okay. All life is precious. <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. 
The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you lot will be next. Oh my gosh. And what will become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Dola is bitter. Bitter for Dola. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. That's right, Astinian, especially for the ones you love. Alpha Nod, Astinian. Fan. Fanboying. Fangirling. We need to make that happen. I'm gonna write a letter. Mm hmm. Of course I want to go into the next scene. Let us rejoin. With a fragrant chamber. <laughs> fragrant chamber. The names. The names are going to be the death of me. They're even kind of matching. They're both wearing blue. I'm like, yes, you may have him. Sweep him away, sweet Estinian. Your Grace. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our Chirurgeons can provide. Chirurgeons, that that's how it's pronounced. Chirurgeons. I just freestyled it every time. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the Pippin. details of Fordola's account. Oh, more miming again. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. It is now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned with it. Less certain? is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Emperor's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. Mm. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald. And in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling... Oh my god, even more immediate concern. concerns. It's always concerns, every time. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. For a blessing, none appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. I'll handle them. I got this. Oh, she even did a little. Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. Yeah, they have background pledged music. their full support to our cause. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. Negotiating. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzi? Yes. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Thank you. I need it. Someone's going to have objections. Of course, Alpha Nod. He's got to think more, more thinking. Oh, no, you're an overthinker. Oof, look at that map. Look at that map. Just ignore all those blue quests. Ignore, ignore. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophoroi's stated aim. 
Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. You would think. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? <coughs> One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing. A topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. Oh my goodness. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Oh, I don't remember. Mm, I don't want to lie, I'm not sure. Is the question truly so vexing? Perhaps you fear I will chastise yes, you for giving the wrong answer. That's exactly. <laughs> or was it so long ago that you simply can't remember? History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. Yes, absolutely. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen. But that was not the will of Heidelin. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Heidelin were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with... I wonder... Could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Urianger's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Maybe the towers are blocking it? Mm. But it was way before the towers. Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all time. Estinian. We stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again, will you join us? Yes, join us. Oh, how can you refuse the puppy dog eyes? You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are 
idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. Yes. To win, yes. no less. Yes, tell them. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let. I'm telling you. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? Oh, hold them in your strong arms. Thank you, Estinian. Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. And my heart. And now, I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. I want to go to Charlian. Charlian. I want to go. Let's go with her. That would be a plot twist. Oh my gosh, not over yet. What are those? Just like all sorts of weapons he's trying out. Does this one meet with your approval? Apparently not. Or... Could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. Oh my gosh, he's pissed. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Team So theatrical. <laughs> oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. He's always kind of creeped me out a little bit. Mm. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? What's a you know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> a mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. There's so many cool weapons. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Mm. 
Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. Oh, you're not going to show us the weapon. Okay. Okay, I see you. Uh, why? Oh, is that the end? Ooh, that's the end! Absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Can't wait for the next part. And, um... Speechless. Speechless. Just enough to keep you want to... To want to keep going. <sighs> so, that's it for my video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.